A Nashville man convicted of murder walks out of prison after nearly two decades behind bars. Yeah, Thomas Clardy here you're seeing right here was sentenced to life in prison for the shooting death of a local man. But a judge now agrees that Clardy's attorneys could have done a whole lot more. Thanks for joining us tonight at six. Everybody, I'm Hunter Hoagland and I'm Rory Johnston, an exclusive for you tonight as News Channel 5 investigative reporter Levi Ismail was there as Thomas Clardy was released. You could sense that Thomas Clardy was relieved, having exhausted so many appeals over the years. Now his new attorneys are hoping that this is the last day he ever has to step foot in this prison. Thomas Clardy didn't say much outside these prison walls. Levi Ismail, nice to meet you. He didn't have to. His smile spoke volumes standing next to his son, who was only six the last time they saw one another. A moment that even for the people speaking on their behalf, left them without words. <laughs> I'm speechless, right? I'm speechless. This is a day that Thomas has been asking for for a very long time. Back in 2005, a group of men opened fire and killed Kirk Clautre outside this body shop in Madison. Kirk's wife, Melissa, and his brother, Kent, were also injured. Eventually, Kent gave Metro Nashville police a description of one of the shooters that they believed matched Clardy. It would turn out to be the only evidence linking Clardy to the crime, but it was enough to sentence him to life in prison until now. These are decisions that are very rarely granted. Clardy has been working with the Tennessee Innocence Project for the last nine years and attorneys for Bass, Barry and Sims for the last four to get to this point. That's where a federal district judge has just agreed to overturn Clardy's conviction. They argued Clardy's attorneys at the time failed him by not putting an expert on the stand capable of arguing the limitations of eyewitness accounts. Leva, this took incredible work by so many people. First and foremost, Thomas. Thomas had trust and faith and belief in himself and his case. That's the most important thing. The case now goes to the Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals where they could uphold the judge's ruling before sending it to the Nashville District Attorney's Office. That's where they will decide to either retry the case or not. It could take as many as six months to a year before we find out. For now, it's about making up for lost time. This is a, an incredible day for us. Any day that someone like Thomas walks out of prison, it's a good day. With News Channel 5 Investigates, I'm Levi Ismail. We also heard from uh, the victim, Kirk Clautre's family earlier today in this case, who say they're still confident the right man was sent to prison. They say they're prepared to once again present their case if it ever makes it back to trial. Meanwhile, Thomas Clardy will now wear an ankle monitor while waiting on a decision from the appeals court.